From the JES First Warning Weather Center, here's meteorologist April Loveland. Well, we are tracking some frigid conditions out there this morning, and guess what? Unfortunately, it's not going to get much better as we head through the day today. So if you do have any outdoor plans, just bundle up, layer up. I think you'll be fine because we'll see that sunshine. I think the sunshine always makes it feel a little bit better out there. It's better than a lot of cloud cover and 30s. So we'll take the sunshine and the 30s today. Warmer conditions heading into Sunday, but it is going to be cloudier and we do have rain possible later on in the day, but we will see those highs near 60, so a big jump in temperatures there. We're also tracking some showers heading into Monday. It could end as a little bit of a wintry mix early Monday morning as we get some of that colder air filtering in right before sunrise. Not going to be a huge issue though. Here's our precip chances as we head through the next five days. Nothing today, 90% chance on Sunday, down to a 70% chance on Monday, and then Tuesday and Wednesday, high pressure building back in. We have nice dry conditions. Here's the big picture though. We have kind of, I've Zoom this out because there's really not a whole lot going on in the U.S. right now. We have high pressure over our area, keeping all the mid-Atlantic and the Midwest dry. As we head off to our west, though, we have this cold front kind of hanging out near North Dakota, South Dakota, and Montana. That's going to be sweeping through our area as we head into the day tomorrow and into Monday. So when can we expect that rain? Well, nothing out there today, so we can kind of skip past our future cast because we're just seeing sunshine. We'll see some clouds building in by tomorrow morning. That's 9 a.m. Could see a few spotty showers by noontime, not a huge issue though. By 6 p.m. though, there's that line of showers making their way into the viewing area. By 10 p.m., you can notice most of us are dealing with the rain minus the outer banks, and we could see maybe a few heavier downpours there. This is 1 a.m. Monday morning. We see some heavier downpours over the south side in the Albemarle. We'll continue with the rain. This is 5 a.m., shifting down to the Albemarle there. This is where we could see maybe a little bit of a changeover. We're starting to see some of that kind of purpley color there. That's a little bit of a wintry mix. That's going to get out of here pretty quickly. By 8 a.m., might see a few snow flurries there along the Albemarle and the Outer Banks. But after that, high pressure building in, clearing out our skies by the afternoon and evening hours. And we'll see those clearing skies continue as we head overnight. So here's kind of a wrap up of those precip chances heading into Sunday, going up to about a 40% chance by 6 p.m. 80% chance by 9 p.m. As we head into Monday, we'll have a 90% chance by midnight, 70 by 3 p.m., and then you notice really dropping off after 9 a.m. there. Highs today in the 30s, but heading into your Sunday, a big change in temperatures. Highs near 60 with those late day showers. We'll see some showers early on in the day on Monday, 42. Wind chills in the teens on Tuesday, it's going to be a frigid day out there. And then by Wednesday, mostly sunny, 42, most uh, partly cloudy heading into your Thursday, 50. And then some scattered showers again heading into Friday, highs near 49. So, Anthony, a wild weekend of weather. We've got sunshine in 30s today, but rain in 60s tomorrow. So, I don't know what you'll take if you want the sunshine or if you want a little bit more cloud cover in those 60s.